Welcome to another Ubisoft game, this time with a simple story in a galaxy far, far away. This is the project that Michel Ancel, creator of Rayman and uh, one of the major key people at Ubisoft, especially in its infancy, wanted to make throughout all of his life. The story he always wanted to tell beyond good and evil, specifically the HD version made by Ubisoft Shanghai in 2010, I think. Okay. This is a story that deals that uh, is heavily inspired by games like Oddworld, um, a cartoony uh, dystopic future where people are fighting for their freedoms. Although, unlike in Oddworld, where the message was more nature versus technology, here is a more simple uh, freedom versus oppression, more simply. It's very propaganda, it's very political in that kind of way, but uh, um, I think it's an enjoyable case. Anyway, news. Ah, uh, it's one of those peaceful, warring times of year. Mm. Yes, our one antagonist is called General Keck. <laughs> Top Keck. Jesus. Loyal Hillians. No, Keck. The impending battle will be a difficult one, but thanks to the Alpha section. Alright, who are we fighting this time? Aliens. Yeah, but which aliens? Basically, you know? like the exposition, chi exposition news channel told us briefly, the mining planet of Illis has been invaded by an alien force called the Domes, and as a result, uh, uh, part of the planet has been militarized, uh, has been under military rule in order to repel any single uh, invasion from that. Uh, Joe, it's the, it's and the one this from... is our pro and this is our protagonist of the day, Jade, a young girl. It's the ones from After Earth, Joe, the aliens. Unfortunately, yeah, when that sign shows up, it means that the domes are attacking. They're coming. Quick, then, jump up. Yeah, one thing that I hoped... Uh, yeah, there you go. But I hoped that <laughs> the, the, the remaster, would, uh, the HD version would fix, uh, would have been making the subtitle a bit less intruding, because we take, like, a, 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 bit, a bit of a chunk of the screen, and we have the character portrait to indicate ah. who's talking. So it's like the Ubisoft Tintin game. Kinda. Well, Ubisoft remember, it, 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 same, same, te same team, uh, Pedro. Yeah, so what is, what is up with this team subs, then? Like, come on, guys. No, no, the... the, the... Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. The, the font dimension is relatively fine. It's just the placement and the and the portraits. With the Tintin... The, 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 with Tintin, it was because it was the, the font was too big for its own good. Well, crap, that ain't good. Nope. To give you an idea, Jova, the Tintin game made by this team, it got to a point where the subtitles covered like four of so, the screen. So yeah, we we start to be pleasant journey in a cartoony world with children getting abducted by aliens and almost killed. Uh, having fun yet? Oh, they're nice. so gonna get pro. Oh, here's they're the being thing. used as fuel. How cute! I love well, this game's soundtrack, uh, and well, this one is my favorite. The cold fight with the dolls. Uh, the composer, Christoph Teral, This is actually his first work, uh, and he excels to me in full colors. Uh, and it, it, to the point where Ansel wanted him in his team ever since uh, for all his projects. Uh, I He's still collaborating to him with his day. So Did he, he compose uh, for the Rayman Origins and Legends game? Yes, uh, and also the Teen Teen game. Huh, using children as fuel. I guess this explains well, that where that... Quickly. I guess this Slow explains more. where those dicks of a civilization in uh, Last Guardian got that idea from. The combat is relatively simple. It's a simple free hit combo that you can delay for more extensive combos. So there's not too much into it, but I would argue it's uh, serviceable for the game. What the game wants wants to do. Wow, she did that with just a stick of fire. <laughs> Girl, what you been go. on to be smashing up them bots? Uh oh. Well, yeah. we not enough. Well, boss, the game over then. <laughs> Seriously, you have no idea what you saw in this game. <laughs> uh, personal space, Mr. Alien. Geo, they're aliens. You know what's coming next. It's either the tentacle hentai or the anal probing. She's surprisingly. I thought very... those were the same thing. Oh, so so this girl suffers from gibliitis. She's incredibly unenthused to all this incredibly wacky stuff going on. 
More like she's unconscious now. You know, all they need to do is move we, the subtitles down. This the is our major partner for the day, Paige. Uh, uh, spelled with a Y and a J and apostrophe. <laughs> if his voice sounds familiar, you may have heard this guy in David Cage's game because he's David Cage. David Gasman. David Gasman. David Gasman. <laughs> around, around this time, he was also the voice actor for Rayman, so obviously Michelin said wanted to keep him uh, for uh, for that as well. Is that did uh, are Ubisoft? Um, what division is this one? The original was made by Ubisoft Picture and Ubisoft Milan, actually, from my country. Oh, so, um, do, do Ubisoft's video booth add Cogsic Dream with next door to each other or something? Keep in mind, Gasman is actually a famous actor in France, so it, it kind of makes sense for it having a bit of a star power. Keep also in mind that Ubisoft around this time, for games like this, had an original script and voice acting in French, the French version, and the English one was the uh, part of the localized uh, multiplayer one. Oh and yeah, Ubisoft is French. This game actually had some sort of budget. Uh, um, for the Italian version, they distinctly used the top tier type of voice actors that they normally reserve for games with uh, you know big budget like Heavy Rain or the new God of War game, for example. Uh, I get the feeling Jay it was kind of unprecedented. So oh. Anyway, what the monster had swallowed was a pearl. We we risked life and limb over a pearl, huh? Trust oh, me, Drew, that, these are important. They're one of the main currency of Illis, so grab as much as you can. Makes you wonder what aliens are doing with them, then. They are a source of energy, so as well. So. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Hey, Secundo, scan this for me. Oh, yeah, Secundo is basically Jade's AI in that zone machine. He can digitize everything because it's the future, shut up. Oh, so uh, it's the PDA from Hyperman. Pretty much. And uh, he has uh, a Spanish accent. Why? Because shut up. Because it's our funny if we give him a funny accent. Let me, guess. Much. Let me guess. He's born from the brainwaves of her dead, long lost father figure. No, Jova, we're not. We're not that. Anyway, we're on a grand total of 88 pearls right now in Lisa, so we might as well. Uh, one of the objectives of the game is trying to find them all. So, Terry, is there a character with an incredibly cringy Cockney accent? Surprisingly, no. Uh -huh. Page has a distinct um, Texan-like accent instead. Anyway, the Alpha section has come here to clean the place. No need to thank me, miss. Yeah, it's the Alpha you section's over. duty to protect all the citizens of Milis. There are some sections where you're just talking with no voice acting like that. Uh. Anyway. I don't remember if I paste the jade for the Shiri, but if you want to give it a go, go ahead. Anyway, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing. The domes are hitting closer and closer and harder and harder. But they, the, the jade most of the time doesn't talk like this anyway. That is first person I can't stand these new fangled elevators. I bet. Grr, I hate facts. This new fangled finger magic. For, for more information, the game originally was released for the PS2, by, uh, GameCube, again, PC, and Xbox. I'll say more later. So, what did the AC version come out on? PS3, Xbox 360, and Steam, I think. Yeah, the, the Wii wouldn't have been able to. Well, by the looks of it, the Wii would have been able to handle these graphics. Seriously, what exactly is HD about this remaster? Well, the fact that it has an HD resolution. Ooh. So, True. as you can imagine, so something clearly is not right because the news is basically piloting the events as if the alpha section had be doing all the work. So, it doesn't really help that if you look at these guys' armors, they look, totally look legit. It's also in widescreen, and I'm assuming the original was in 4x3. Yeah. Honestly, as far as the masters go, this one is pretty fine. Yeah, it manages. Uh, it runs at a stable uh, 60, frame, 60 frames per second. Uh, I don't remember any particular instances where it dropped. Uh, even though some most some of the textures are not super developed, uh, I think it's more fine most of the time. It does. It helps also that it's not a exceedingly long game. So. Wakey, wakey. Also, yes, Shiroi. 
uh, the orphanage has a big dog as well. From also, I, literally ha- I love how she literally has a goat child with her. Yeah, he at least he's kind of like the Dragon Ball Z world, uh, where uh, there are anthropomorphic animals all over the place. We're sitting ducks for every borax in the area. What a pessimist. Okay. Did they get this guy from Mexico? Uh, surprisingly, you know, the more inspiration that this game takes from, is from in terms of countries, is Jamaica and Cuba. Surprisingly. Does France have any connection? To anyway, these? we need mo- well, to it. We need oh, money yeah. and faster. So, what's the best thing to do? Okay, I'm, trying, I'm starting. To, I'm starting to lose track. Is this guy supposed to be Spanish or Italian? Spanish. I can tell you that. So anyway, the uh, best we must need to make work with Jade's abilities is, well, photo reporting, specifically of animals. Apparently, the, the museum, the local museum of Illis, is hiring for paying for photos of animals of all kinds on Illis, so might as well take the opportunity. This is one of your side objectives in the entire game. Yet you go get your camera back. Let me check uh, it's, it's, it's TV Tropes page. Without spoiling yourself. The, Don't worry, it, all this all spoilers. Are the thing in, that uh, you need one thing that you need to do to need to know immediately is that uh, this game actually bombed when it came out, uh, mostly because of the marketing around this time. Raymond Free and the Prince of Persia games were released as well, and this was the Ubisoft game that uh, did not sell at almost at all, actually. But in the years, as you can imagine, it, it grew up a cult following, and people started asking for a sequel, which, by the time of this recording, we know it's uh, supposedly coming. Which confirmed that Michelle and Sal had been released from the there basement they had him chained in. a photo of this oh, apparently, thing. Apparently in Canada in early February 2009, Hi, Jade. the I PC see version came packaged free with a brand of cheese. We yeah, from what I'm seeing, of from... all species oh, living see. on the planet. Thanks for the picture. Good there luck. you go. Uh, any each animal's photograph will grant you a to- uh, an amount of units, uh, and after you, you reach a specific a amount of zoom. photos, you will get a special reward, like a better equipment for your camera or pearls. Basically, it encourages you mm. to take as, man- as many photos as you can. Do you think uh, by this point uh, the, the second game is going to come to PS5 and whatever the next Xbox is? Most likely. Are I mean... even having a conference this year? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't they? Well, it's just, well, with Sony not being there and Nintendo not being there. It's literally wait, 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 just wait, wait, one wait, company, Dweebs. We already told you. Dweebs, we literally have confirmation that uh, Nintendo anyway, has an E3 conference. The interesting thing yeah, is what the archives. game doesn't tell you is that any end, well, doesn't even basically tells you okay, that any species of any kind counts. Uh, so, of course, of uh, even animals do count, even humans do count. Uh, so, you can take a photo of any human on, on the planet, and the first one will be scanned as Homo sapiens. Thank you. That's actually a nice touch. All right, I'm seeing. I'm there we go. Nice work, Jade. I'm gonna go make sure everything's working. Come down here as soon as you can. Looks like the soundtrack soars at this news. I see. This intro seems to be a bit fa- uh, quite fast paced. You don't even uh, uh, they don't even give us some time to have uh, get accustomed to. Eh? What do you mean? I mean, I seem to get the gist of things just fine. I know it's just that literally, like like the game literally just starts and we're already fighting aliens and doing everything. Like, uh, well, I mean, uh, to be fair, the idea was did... for the combat tutorial, and this yeah. was basically to understand how to make photos. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know, that, that was more of a I'm tutorial. About story, though. I'm talking about story, though. Like, uh, I think uh, a, a little slower intro to introduce the characters a bit more. Would, uh, would yeah, been... I think nice. it's fine enough. I mean, they've told us that we're at war at this point. I get the feeling that this is one of those stories where they add on the details afterwards. I mean, otherwise, you know, we've gotten the tutorial, and now we're getting to see their daily lives. You know, the proper structure, you know. Show us how the heroes <laughs> act in their normal daily lives after tutorials for a game are out of the way. I mean, it's not like we're lost on who's who, what's what, or anything. Anyway, let me check in the meantime. Uh, J- Jade is voiced by jo- Jodie Forrest. Uh, no, not Jodie Foster. Let me check what else she did. 
Um, she in sadly meantime, passed away really in December 2017, right but she did roles such as Tilly and Rayman. Oh, and... She, ac she actually was in, in, in Legal Prophecy as well. Apparently, <laughs> she did voice specimen. Tiffany, oh, Agatha, and, some, and someone else. Oh, goody. In the meantime, I'm seeing here that the game is also on the Xbox One via backwards compatibility. Yeah. Anyway, there's the big dog. Ubisoft should get around to yes. porting the... Ubisoft should get around to porting this remaster to the to the newer consoles where the second game will come out. Expect it on PS6 in the 55 years. Unless it mm -hmm. actually still comes out to PS4, Xbox One, and whatever. It's already on Xbox One, like I just said. No, this, no, no, uh, I'm talking about Beyond Good and Evil 2. This also, this also was... Uh, oh, there you go. The game has uh, uh, hard containers that you can find similar to Zelda. It actually has a small structure similar to it, like that. Uh, your hearts are divided in four sections, but attacks usually drain away like uh, half, of, half of, it, of a heart. Wouldn't it be funny if the alpha sections are actually in league with the aliens? Drop out, please. That would be incredibly, incredibly not suspicious at all. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I was saying... I see you have an option to eat. Uh, basically, how... your major items there, it will be a name drop even more later, is called a star cross, which is basically your healing item. Uh, it restores like one heart, and later you can get um, other types of items instead restore a bit more of your health. So basically, the um, when it comes to photographing stuff, uh, you know, making photos of things, uh, you can... Uh, well the done. only limit that you have is basically one photo per animal. And um, you can basically... Ever, otherwise, if you see an animal, m most definitely is one that you can, uh, you know, photograph. For example, some of them are a bit... Uh, they need to be sniffed out, kind of like with a puzzle. Others, uh, you need certain equipments, for example, for photographing that uh, that gopher-like animal that is running around on the on the on the roof of your shield generator. You need the enhanced zoom from uh, from your camera, but you get after uh, completing a series of photos. But again, it does encourage you to the more photos that you take, uh, and, it, and it's actually really easy to actually fill up because the species on Inlis are really that high, and many to find. Even some of the domes uh, actually can be scanned for biological purposes. So what can't you scan? Well, like I said, uh, the, this research is mostly for biological purposes. But it doesn't mean that you cannot take photos for yourself. You can take a photo of whatever you want, and it's saved on a relatively small uh, storage data, similar to the photos that Prompto takes in Final Fantasy XV. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Jade's speed, uh, she's not... Uh, there you go. Normally she is not super fast, but thankfully I have both a run button and a dodge button, so you can be helped with that. Just a simple photographer, as per usual. Yeah, Jade's easier. Like, yeah, she's, with... she's like freaking noise. That tits is a journalist. <laughs> we need a oh, crossover between. Her, Tintin, and Peter Parker. A field armadillo. A field armadillo. Yeah, yeah sometimes uh, if your species is unique enough, uh, uh, your contact will give you a, a small, uh, not commentary, but yeah, a small comment about uh, what it is like uh, and everything. Again, it, it also helps uh, as a small reward uh, instead of just saying, oh, I'll register that as a new quest or stuff like that. The hills are alive with the Oh, yeah, this was uh, what I was going to say. The, um, it does, one thing that also didn't help this game is what it came out in a point uh, where games similar to this uh, were saturated in the market, like Haven, uh, made by Traveler's Tales, for example. And this came kind of, sort of, in the middle of it, uh, and as a result, uh, it got the short stick of it. Oh, when yeah, did I heard this that, game um... come out? Hmm? What year did this game come out? 2003. Hmm. I heard of um, I've heard of Haven actually. Wasn't that that one that John Burton had on his mind for years? But well, yeah, so keep also in mind another thing though. Like uh, this, uh, aside from me bombing, 
Uh, the game also has, uh, is not rushed, but some of, uh, but don't expect a super conclusive story. There's a good reason also why people wanted a sequel for this, because Ancel originally envisioned this as a trilogy, but the first game bombing okay. meant they were set back uh, incredibly a bit. And also keep in mind, uh, there were actually rewrites uh, of this. So originally the story was supposed to be uh, even longer than, the, than uh, what we got. But I'll let you guys be the judge uh, at the end of the day. For now, let's see what Paige wants uh, for us. Uh. That you, Jade? I just got one of them M discs. No, it's Might the police. Job for Jade reporting <laughs> company. If you can read it now, this is the give me a chance to adjust your this your hands up. stupid decoder player that refuses to obey its master. Gotcha. It's master of great pork sirloin. <laughs> Basically, the MDs could give you missions uh, and similar stuff, uh, but uh, they're... Sibyl, it's been digitized. There you go. But they're also used for your save points, so there's a bit of gameplay and story integration here. You use those points uh, to insert the MDs and viewing the missions that you need, uh, watching the... Mm, for example, watching the, the news report, because even some papers, uh, newspapers are collected there, but you can also save your games uh, through these points. Uh. They are scattered on a fair pace, so there's not much checkpoint starvation, at least. Uh, Hello, in opinion. miss. I've been commissioned by Mr. De Castellac. This war is a catastrophe for us all. Mr. De Castellac would like to entrust a very delicate mission. Mr. 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 De Castellac would like to accept. Please, please, please make your way as soon as possible <laughs> to the ancient mine on Black Isle, located on the other what side. What the? That doesn't place. sound Having suspicious. Having completely understood the enormous risks involved, Mr. De Castellac. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Thankfully, we don't do that. Well, I don't know. I mean, the way he exposes the Mission Impossible films you know when they blow up guy? low key, so seeing an actual huge explosion. No. I'm surprised that. I'm surprised the enemy don't intercepts the messages and break it so the explosion actually kills the agents. Don't you worry, Paige. Everything will be fine. They would kind of have to somehow tap into the frequency itself to make an explode. What is it with you and explosions? Uh, well, I like explosions, just not overly dumb as I go on forever. <laughs> just, just, just before Pedro says, so you're not the Michael Bay film. I will, I didn't say anything. Mm, well, sometimes explosions... So, well, that's the thing, though. Uh, nowadays, explosions, the first, one of the first things that pop into people's heads is Michael Bay. Well, yeah, that's kind of a thing. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. what is only sparks by making? Oh, holy cow, that logo! You don't get I much more over it. the top evil than that. It's not just a skull, <laughs> but it's a skull with lightning bolts. It's company. It might as well be called Total well, get well, to Rob Libs. Well, Libs, that in CGI buildings. We start well, by get... making a big CG building, and have a meter go crush, and then it's all crow, and as the motorcycles burst into flames, you see. We'll get yeah, to meet more of the nice. more yeah, of yeah, the this, alpha sections later. Like I was saying, though, this company might as well be known as totally not evil enterprises. <laughs> they seem fine to me. Yeah, score totally cost, legit. No, no, well, 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 Dwebs, which one seems more evil to you, this or Dorfa? Uh, I forgot. Which, so remind me, which one was Dorfa? The, 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 com the company from Fire Fence arrived. Yeah, Dorfa's forgettable. <laughs> I'm not too sure about those guys, I mean the alpha section. Always at the right place at the right time, just by coincidence. Oh, whatever, Porco Rosso. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the batteries are dead. And this stupid generator is shot. You can't stop by pushing the generator set, I'll come and help you. Oh, okay, so it's like in second colors, we have to activate the generators. Yeah, and also work with the power of teamwork. Uh, we, also need, we also need to, to um, build all the transistors as well. Thankfully, no. Okay, let's get at it. Basically, your your companion is controlled by the AI and responds for things that need to be done simultaneously, like this. 
It's a bit unorthodox, but that works. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Your other craft is good to go. Let's go to the French National Anthem for a second. Basically, at, at any point, also you can give an healing item to your uh, to your companion if they you feel that they need to be restored. Uh, at any point, mind you, you can ask when you're not in combat. Uh, although it's there you go, like this. Uh, nice. Although it's a bit weird that you initiate conversation with the square button. It's a bit unusual. Okay, let's go. Unorthodox. I guess we'd better head straight for the Malago Basically, you need a new engine for the hovercraft because it's a bit smoky, so it's not a good thing. So, pearls are actually good to be traded at a garage, a local garage, that actually can give you your, the power-ups that you need. Oh boy. Anyway, this game actually is not slightly open world. Um, you have a hub world, in this case here at least, which is mostly composed by water, where you travel through that, uh, through your hovercraft. And you'll get uh, major worlds, uh, you know, set set species and uh, levels. But you'll get to explore uh, as the story progresses, uh, and you can revisit back if you want. Once you also get your upgrades uh, for photographing the animals that you missed, uh, or gathering the pairs that you missed as well. For now, though, we're really at the beginning, so you might just get to the garage for the moment. Uh, so we're in Hoenn now. <laughs> Kinda. I don't know. Still not quite enough water to match that yet. Oh, jeez. Well, that's it. Finito. Hey, now that's it. Out. This is how our story ends. Stupid. Not out in a blaze of glory. Not dying to save those we love, but dying out in the middle of a lake. Uh, we could just swim back. Can oh, you swim? how convenient. We just happen to show up with the parts that we need. And yeah, so these are the Jamaican, uh, the, the guys with the Jamaican accent. Oh, keen. Let me check who else is voice cast. It's a, IMDb doesn't really list that much aside from the French cast, uh, because aside from the major, three major voice actors, everyone is listed in additional voices. That's what behind the voice actors is for. Okay. So I don't know, for example, voices secundo. Gotta get out of this tuna can. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ubisoft Montpellier. Yep, it's uh, starting to smell like smoked bacon in here. Uh, <laughs> double hate. Double hate. Because he's a pig. By a Actually, I wonder. Named, does he a eat named, bacon uh, in this universe? There's a hmm? character named Double H, and he's voiced by Robert Burns. That's for later, leaves. But that, that's all. That's all they list, though. Like I said, it's the same as IMDb. Anyway, Drova, to answer your quest, you'll be pretty much anything, so any cannibal confusion trouble you can imagine can be applied here. I guess to be fair, pigs eat anything in real life too. <laughs> anyway, basically what Paige is saying that if you have enough pearls, you can buy things that you need, not only upgrades for your, uh, your overcraft, but also you know the side items that you may need, like uh, hard containers and stuff. But uh, most of your major upgrades will be bought instead in the main city of Willy, so, so it's best if you reserve for that instead. We're able to get to safety, I hope. And all the little ones, are they alright? The new one, how's she fitting in? Give it a try, Sheer, if you can. Or it's too small Things for you. Things got a little heated, but everything came out just fine. Uh, thanks. Is it's some, um, yeah. Okay. Sweet. That seemed fine. Yeah. Not a problem, Jade. It's only right to help out your neighbors when they need it. Anyway, did one of those Donald's meteors land here too? I don't even want to talk about it. Almost the entire stock gone up in smoke. This war is a disaster. You thought the cold war was, was bad. Disaster. Don't forget. A mama only except the, the, the gimmick of these garages that uh, is uh, handled by an entire family of uh, rhinoceros ja sapiens. Uh, thank you, game. Uh, Jamaican rhinoceros, I, I guess. I added it to my archives. Yeah. 
All right then. This. And they and basically they they have their mom that handles the operation, hey, although you never see her what she looks that. like. That dorm's meteor just made us a new skylight. Look up there. Jeez. That can't be good for the stratosphere. But, um, but like, I, yeah, like I mentioned, uh, as you can imagine, this game deals with uh, the fact of, uh, of a planet that normally would be peaceful, but instead is militarized as a result of an <coughs> invasion. And uh, this doesn't fly well with the population because, uh, similar to a lot of cases where uh, an emergency military government gets to be formed, uh, the freedom of the citizen gets restricted, uh, and as a result, uh, you know, it's, uh, it appears that uh, it doesn't seem to be for the best. And the game will deal with uh, with these themes, although he dropped a very, very particular side, you can kind of see already where the game wants to go from here. But... Uh, so it doesn't. It's not like it's too deep for me, or it propounds, or maybe the alpha sections uh, are in the right or anything. And when it comes to the message yeah, that the game wants to tell about freedom versus oppression, it's pretty straightforward what he wants to go for. Gonna kill yourself running around like that. Oh, I can okay. I can never take my shoes off. I'm kind of. I'm kind anyway, of a game here's actually one thing, annoying thing of your game. Every time you you can come across one of those uh, distributors, uh, that's basically like a food vending machine, kind of like. Every time you want to make a purchase, you have to highlight the item. That's pretty fine so far. But the voice pretty much tells uh, the description of the items every single time you come across of it. Every single time you get to a vending machine. Similar to how, if you watch the Kadikaro's review of 321's Murph, it's similar to how Brainy in that game narrates over everything that you scroll repeatedly. And you can uh, uh, even go for it. That honestly should have been less annoying, if you ask me. Anyway, another thing that they explain here is the pod, which are the hard container, like I said. Uh, the more you the more you collect, the more you get, uh, the more your health will be high. I don't think you can actually share that with your companions, so your companions will always, always stuck with two hearts. Instead, uh, and instead you will get, uh, you know, all, I think up until eight. Speed crop. No problem. Basically, fancy war for your new engine. Oh no, speed crop sounds okay. rather Digitalization cool. terminated. Like, cro crops your speed, yeah, it makes it short. Actually, it's speed yeah. craft. I uh, said speed crop. There you go, it was a sneak peek of the things that you can buy. But also, obviously, we need way more fur for this. Also, Dooms, did you know that crops can also grow? Never crops also another word for shrinking stuff. Yeah, but that artifact can also be used to expand it, ironically enough. So why call it crop? <laughs> I, I, I look. Look, that's Photoshop's answer for you. Anyway, yeah. one unfortunate uh, thing uh, that actually happens uh, in terms of glitchiness uh, necessarily, some of the audio lights actually can be missing, uh, especially if the game, uh, when the game may be saving uh, or saving for the checkpoint. Uh, but uh, I honestly found that in only like one or two places in the entire game. It's not like a recurring issue, although it, it still happens at the end of the day. So when it comes to ports, he's not flawless. Wow, that didn't but take I, But long. I also seen worse at the same time. And ah. for being outsourced to one of the very minor studios of Ubisoft, I'd say it's decent enough. Anyway, the dons are attacking again. But let's. But first, let me take a photo. Do 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 do. It's, it's like Spider-Man Three and okay, how you gotta I'll take photos it. of stuff, even at the most now, dire situations. The cool thing is that you think that some animals may maybe uh, only temporary, like a video have a chance to maybe permanently miss them or something but the game actually gives you the opportunity to take photos of them again if it's a situation like this um, the game later on will have for example either another specimen, specimen or a skeleton of it to be found later in the in the other world so actually uh, the game doesn't uh, you know allow you to have uh, missed opportunities like that it, it gives you fair chances uh, oh, to miss so them better than the spider-man 3 video game in that regard then. i guess i will play that it's just love that though it's fine like 
thing with either of my space plants to the ground. And then the building explodes. There we go, slow mo. Crux, jeez, they really do. Well, Paige is not real. Well, Paige is not really social. <laughs> I can imagine. Anyway, that's it for now. Basically, next part uh, we'll actually arrive, I think, to the Black Island uh, and start our investigation. So, see you for that. Ja. See you then. All right. See you.